Good evening, this is Luka Gigi Paz. I am back with FIFA 4 on Fridays. Sorry I couldn't upload a video last week. I was at a football match. It, it was impossible for me to do it. So, today's opponent is X Greg O with a load of O's on the end. And the first uh, team I came up against in our two game thriller was his BPL Silver team. And he has a very nice BPL Silver team. Probably one of the best you can get, I'd say. Not too sure. And uh, let me just say the first game. Uh, wasn't reflected of of how how it went really. I won't give the score line away, but the uh, opening exchanges, Marchetti kind of kept me in it, and uh, he can. Well, look, there weren't amazing chances, but he did have uh, half chances, you know, shots on target, and it looked like he was more likely to take the lead. Hit Marchetti, saved me again, but I started to get into the game, and I managed have a shot and it fell to Quagliarella and he wasn't going to miss that and that made it 1-0 and soon after another ball through to Quagliarella and he made it 2-0 in succession and at half time it was 2-0 as, as you can see that is totally undeserving of the stats but I play a through ball down the left to Coutinho and he cuts back in and he sweeps it into the bottom of the corner and as you can see I was trying my best to keep this lead and it was a lead which I wouldn't say I wasn't deserving of, but a three-goal lead and a clean sheet so far was a bit uh, more favourable to me, and I don't think I deserved a three-goal lead. And he certainly did deserve a goal, but this clip now is two minutes real time, I think, and it lasted like 15 minutes in the game. And as you can see, it's literally end-to-end -end stuff. The ball like hardly ever went out, unless it was for a corner. Basically, that's the only time it actually went out, for a corner or a goal. And uh, we tried our best to, obviously not concede, but we did try our best to score. We were going all out. And I'm more of a passer, so I had a bit more possession than him. And he had his pace and skills to try and get past me. But I was, I was defensively sound in this game. I was quite good defensively. He was a bit unlucky to uh, come up against a good defence today. So almost getting through there, but like I said, we were both very good defensively. Even though I did score three goals, he wasn't bad defensively. And then uh, there you go, another another tackle, last ditch tackle to stop a goal there, and more counter attacking. So it was it was a brilliant game to play. I loved I loved to play this game, and I think uh, the scoreline just didn't see another save there. The scoreline didn't, you know makes sense but I fall through to Mickley and he makes no mistake 4-0 and that's how it finished falling on the first game so I got a 4-0 aggregate uh, so far and we go into the next game with a big advantage but to be honest look I mean 4-0 is not a fair result there but he, second game he got his uh, Bundesliga team out very nice with uh, Infoin Royce up, up front and I think that was Eswin and Sam and he did take a lead oh just gave it away very nice save there, and from this corner, I will give it away, seeing as I already have, he did score from this corner after a bit of dilly-dallying, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> and this team was a lot harder to break down defensively. And here we go, here's Marchetti comes out, but Royce heads it into the back of the net. And I found it a lot more difficult to uh, break him down in this game and get some possession in midfield. And there's another goal from the corner with Sam. That made it 2-0. And he could almost made it 3-0, but it hit the post. And I was very lucky there. After that, I decided to bring in Signy and Pazzini on. And Pazzini, trademark goal. And that's how it finished, guys. 2-1. There wasn't much else in the second game. It was a bit more solid, and so I have the 5-2 aggregate win. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Get this to 5 likes. Goodbye.